papers. papers. Excuse me. It's on my page. I'm here in the woods because my doctor said that I need to get fresh air and lose a little weight, even though I identify as skinny. He said you had to go on a diet. No, he didn't. Food is not the answer. Food has nothing to do with my appearance. It's genetic. Scientists are searching. So I'm here in the woods with my scooter juice. This says it's just water weight because this is all water weight. Oh, you're also getting 27 pounds this month. Because I identify as skinny. Everyone in this world saying that I'm fat. I identify as skinny, which means therefore I am. Ooh, what is this? I'm speaking. Is that a boil? Oh, actually, you have a new one here. These are called beauty marks. Listen here, peasants. It's like a boil, actually. As you can see, there's a new shop. Now, I'm kind of out of breath because I just had to come down this very rickety place. This is not good for the disabled. Well, you just wore the wrong shoes, right? I wore the wrong shoes. So before you say why you're on a scooter, I don't need the scooter, and it's not because I have diabetes. Oh. Why don't you just waddle around the tree? Why do you have to be on the scooter? Oh. We have a problem. We have an emergency. Um, okay, so today's date is June 26th, 2022. I have about five full days, including today, left before I was gonna quit <clears throat> for July 1st. That's been the plan, I haven't told anyone. I don't even know where this video is going to go. However, last night, last night I was having pinching in my heart, which I rarely get, and when I have gotten, it's made, for example, if I go like this, I feel pinched nerves up here. I had a mini heart attack or whatever it was years ago where the nerves have never recovered. So if I could touch right here, I feel this being touched. It's very creepy. Anyway, so I clearly have a history of something going on with my body. <clears throat> and I don't know why I'm laughing. I think it's so embarrassing. But um, last night I was having pinched in my heart, which I haven't had for a while. <sighs> And um, I start feeling tingly in my cheeks. Now I know that can also be a symptom of anxiety. And yes, I do have anxiety because of what I eat, but I took an aspirin last night. Within 15 minutes, I chewed it, which Harvard recommends if you are having a heart attack, chew aspirin, it gets into the bloodstream faster. So I chewed it within, <laughs> he's making fun of me. Within 15 minutes, the pinching stopped and then I could go to sleep. I woke up today and I was putting on my socks and I'm like, what is this? I don't know if you guys can see cause there's shadows. If you st s turn to the side like that, there you go. Zoom in. You see that? They see it. They see it? Let me try showing them from my angle. Oh, this is much better, Orlin. Okay, you guys, look at this. There's like a hematoma or something. Hematoma. Now, this could also not, this could just happen from stepping on a toy, stepping on a rock while going hiking, walking on uneven surfaces where you pinch something really hard. However, our floors are flat. Our floors are flat. There's no rocks and no toys. And so, I don't know how this could have happened. You can know I'm not very active. And it's, it's just scaring me. So... Here you go, honey. It's scaring me, so I think today's my last day. I'm sad. I wanted another Cheesecake Factory. I wanted another wing stop. I wanted one more Popeyes. And I wanted one more McDonald's. Those will have been my four days. <sighs> I guess I'm quitting today. Um, I'm kind of sad because I'm also hungry right now in the moment. I'm very hungry. And there's a lot to, you know, support. Well... I also don't want to die. The extra four days, the amount of money I'll make, okay, a couple hundred dollars. Um, it's not worth dying. I've come this far. 
I was actually supposed to quit May 19th, which was my birthday. But I decided to give myself a bonus month and uh, no burn bonus is worth being dead for. So today's my last day. So since it is my last day, I'm still gonna eat. Um, I'm doing a Takis concoction. <clears throat> my body's already like saying, oh my God. A Takis cheese bar. I'm gonna pull open like an accordion. It's gonna be stuffed with cheese. And then I'm gonna end the day on my, my favorite thing to eat, which is actually ramen noodles with cheese. And I'm gonna film it and uh, save it for the future. I really wanna make stuff. Oh my God, I'm so hungry, I could cry. Why do you have to be here? No, go away. I have things to eat. Don't give me warning signs. You've been getting warning signs for years, honey. You have warning signs. I can hear you breathing from here. You're like Darth Vader, which means they can definitely hear. Well, it's because I'm still people overweight. Comment, I'm obese. Comment about, they're like, it's like, <clears throat> he's a very loud breather. <clears throat> Um, so I don't want to hear <coughs> you making fun of me when you're also 300 pounds, basically. How much do you weigh? 299. 290 something. 299.9. Okay, so you're 300 pounds too. But I identify as vegan. I've been vegan this entire time. I've been vegan for nine months. It's water weight, y'all. It's just water weight. <clears throat> but he and I are about to do something together as a couple, which I think will bond us. We'll do it privately. We're not going to record it. And we're not going to tell anyone. I'm not going to tell you in this video. Maybe in the future I will. Because we need to get our lives back under control. We have a lot of healing to do. And uh, this, um, you know, I'll put up with the achy knees and the joints. I'll put up with the, the, horrible, smells. the horrible sleep, the smells. I can't even reach half my places sometimes. I'll put up with a lot of stuff. But when it comes to things like that, uh, that scares me. And, you know, you think I would have already stopped in Las Vegas when I thought I had testicular cancer. Remember nope. That? No, not for you. Well, see, the pain went away. And the lady looked at it, and she's like, if it was testicular cancer, usually it would be big. It would be hot. I'd feel lumps. She couldn't feel any lumps. Went for the ultrasound. Didn't see anything. So, and then by that time, the pain had gone away. But it was like constant, really sharp pain for like two weeks. Um, so there's medical mysteries. But these are warning signs by my body. Hey... You're killing us here. Just one big medical mystery. <laughs> so, <clears throat> is this it? Is this, do we end the chapter? You're not going to end. You're going to keep eating. I'm sorry if you guys can't hear me. I should have just put the camera stand. He is so loud. You're too lazy to get the tripod, sweetie. <sighs> um, man. Okay, let me ask you. Since you pay attention to me, my reactions, and you hear me talk all day. All day. All day. Those four things that I said are my, that I was going to end my favorite with. Cheesecake Factory, Popeyes, McDonald's, and Wingstop. Of those four things, what do I tell you makes me the happiest? <laughs> Cheesecake Factory. Really? Well, Cheesecake Factory makes you the sickest. Popeyes makes you the happiest. Okay, I personally don't want Cheesecake Factory again because I just did it. If you so take... Let's take that off. I also... I love McDonald's. However... McDonald's. McDonald's has never done you wrong. He I always know. he always feels good for I McDonald's. I feel good for McDonald's. Okay, I'm thinking of like what I want to like sneak something in today. If I, this is my last day, I'm gonna cram it in. Popeyes. Okay, between Popeyes and Wingstop, let's just do this. Popeyes and Wingstop. Of the two, what do I like more? You like Popeyes more than Wingstop. The thing is that Popeyes is if the, if you have options. if they don't forget stuff and they don't give you attitude, Popeyes is better than Wingstop. Popeyes has more to offer. Yeah, Wingstop, Wingstop is Wingstop is just wings and fries. It's boring. Popeyes has really good red beans. I actually don't even like beans, and I love their red beans and rice. I love their mac and cheese. I love their french fries. I love their butter fries shrimp. <clears throat> I love their dark, crispy, crunchy, spicy legs and thighs. I love their chicken nuggets. I, um, like, like that's already six things. Whereas Wingstop, it's just wings, which are outstanding. Boneless wings, which are also outstanding, and french fries. So there's like twice as much variation of shit I can eat from Popeyes than I can from Wingstop. However, I just did Popeyes three days ago and I haven't done Wingstop for two weeks. And I'm kind of like, eh, what if I did Wingstop? Because they have good ranch. But you think if I had a, if you had a bet what I like more, it would be Popeyes. Popeyes. If you factor in the human component, Popeyes is better. You really hate the Wingstop workers. No, the Popeyes workers. But you said if you factor it in. 
Yeah, like if it's if you take out the if bad you take attitude, out the fact the the customer service factor. Yes, that's that's what I meant. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes you get a there's you no know, a blue moon, and then there'll be someone that's nice at Popeyes. But, yeah. Oh, seven. Their spicy chicken sandwich. Eight. Their original chicken sandwich. Their chicken sandwiches are god. Their sandwich. fish sandwich. Oh, okay. Popeyes all the way. Popeyes all the way. Yeah, but this. Give me the Popeyes. Give me the Popeyes. <laughs> You're so fat. Baby, I don't want to stop today. Look, give it to me. This, why does this have to be an excuse? My nails, my nails, I painted them for TikTok. you have to paint the rest. I painted them for TikTok. I don't actually want to wear nail polish. I, I don't, ew. No, it's for TikTok. Anyways, look at that. See that? Yeah. God. Now, it doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt, but uh, I can't see what I'm doing. You should get that checked out. <laughs> you want me to hold the camera? I'm, I'm going to say goodbye now. Thank you so much for all your assistance. He gets 50% of my income before you say, oh, poor Orland, he should have gotten a camera stand. He also likes to do this, funny angles to make me look fat. I don't have to try very hard. You piece of. <laughs> um, get, stand back over there. I'm trying to get a thumbnail. <laughs> All right, there we go. Um, All right. Okay, it doesn't help that I'm effing hungry right now. So the idea of stopping, I just want to be like, it takes three days to turn to a blood clot. It takes three days to turn to a stroke. It takes a whole week to actually manifest into a heart attack. But I'm quitting in four days so I can get all those four things I wanted. Just get that McDonald's, Popeye's, what's up? Oh! But, Orlin, if you had to make a decision, if this was on your body, would you stop? I would stop. I did stop. I have identified as vegan for nine months because I was having chest pains. Yeah, I mean, it's, what we're doing is so bad. Chest pains. Baby, you could have died. Yeah, so I stopped and, and I identified stopped. as vegan. And you've been a vegan for... Nine eight, months, right? Nine months. And I lost one pound. <laughs> you didn't do it for weight loss, you did it to... I lost weight in the beginning, then I gained it all back. Of water. It's just... It's just water weight. Yeah. I'm craving so much food right now. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I did my hair. I just got out of the shower. I'm ready to record. But the heart pinching last night, the tingling in my cheeks, now this, it's like the universe is saying you've, it's time to switch. All right, say goodbye. Are you going to, okay, are you going to drive to Popeye's then? Or no, that's first. I am no. an enabler. I'm a feeder. It's my last day. Okay, so let me ask you, Orlin. Of uh, those four things, since this is my last day, I already told you I have to film the talkies thing for the main show. I'm only going to take a bite. Maybe two. That's not going to fill me up. You know, I need 6,000 calories for a day. Daily, yeah. So we'll get that out of the way. Then for this evening, of those four, let's take off Cheesecake Factory. I already did it. I'm not craving it. I kind of don't want McDonald's, to be honest with you. You want so, McDonald's. No. Because I can't do McDonald's and Wingstop. Mm -hmm. And Popeye's. So Wingstop or Popeye's? Orlin. Popeye's. Okay. I'm going to do Popeye's tonight. But here's the caveat, Death though. by Popeye's, right? It's already like two p.m. and They're that's when they, oh, there's always a sticker on the tell on the little talking machine that says we're missing ten things. I like to send him in the morning. Yeah, because then there won't be any like. There's always a sticker. Okay, you know what? <laughs> you know what? This is perfect because uh, I have told you that I kind of was craving Wingstop today anyway because I did Popeyes four days ago and mm -hmm. it was brilliant. It was delicious, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but I just did it. Yeah. Okay, so to, here's the plan. And then I'll say goodbye. Well, the Ashley's like wings up. They do. And I do. And I need noodles before I end this journey. Noodles with butter and cheese. So, here's the grand plan in case you need to know. Today, on June 26th, the year 2022. Alexa, what's today's date? It's Sunday, June 26th. I'm smart. I'm about, we turn off the camera. I'm going to put on some clothes. I'm going to fill my Takis cheese for my main channel. I'm going to digest. I'm not going to eat that much. I'm literally going to just do it for views. Number two, Orlin's going to go out to Wingstop and get me a feast of chickens on the bones. Chickens boneless and lots of ranch. 
number two. And then this evening, I will make my favorite ramen noodle. I would cheese. Oh, you gonna eat it with me? Only if I can't. Are you cheese. gonna eat it with me? I'm gonna. But what if I? I'm gonna like, let a lot of vegans down. Anyway. No. Okay. Takis with cheese right now. Wing stop will be my last video, and I won't tell the peasants. It'll look like something. They'll never know what happened. And then this evening, I'm having noodles with Orlin. He'll have his favorite. I'll have my. Well, we can make different flavors. Fuck it. We'll put it on a platter, and we'll go out with noodles and cheese. And we'll pray that I don't have a stroke this evening. So that's what we're going to do, everyone. And then tomorrow is day one, which I'm not going to tell you what we're doing. Thanks for watching this episode of... My 600 Pound Life. <laughs> I was going to say Super Size Me, the five-year edition. But that's a good one, too. <laughs> Super Size Me, the five-year edition by Nick Okato. Well, if, if you're going to you know actually do this, then that means that tomorrow's video is going to be like, why I can't go on a diet. Yeah, I'm going to be crying, <laughs> strapped to the bed. you got to blame everyone like, for yourself. I'm so hungry. You know what? F this. I'm going to eat what I want. You know, I'm going to go till, till the new year, the new tax year, 2023. Five more months of my bunks. Yes. All right, bye. Bye, everyone. Thank you for watching me over the years. I don't know when this is going to come out. Orlin loves to show my angles. So, okay. <laughs> Um, I'm breaking though. I'm breaking. I've had so many. I mean, I'm, I'm all bubbly and giggling. I know you're having very bubbly. You're. <laughs> I know y'all have a fun time watching me be all bouncy and fat, but I have to tell you, there's so much that goes on off camera that you don't see. I literally moan and groan just to walk. Tell them, Morland. Oh yeah. I'm literally breaking you. you I can't even bend over. Mm. Here to end this video, I'll bend over for you. Don't show my crotch. Turn, tr show the door for a minute. Show the door. I don't feel like editing this. Okay. Ouch. Oh. Oh, ow. See? I'm already like, ow. So if I were to like... It's a great thumbnail. <laughs> if I were like... <coughs> <coughs> Is this a good thumbnail? It's a great thumbnail. We should do a TikTok. If I were to like... Pick something up off the floor here. Like this sock over here. <laughs> here I go. I'm picking up my sock. Ouch! Ouch! This is actually the TikTok we're going to do. <laughs> you picking up a sock. I'll see you in the future if I'm alive. Bye!